Hey, welcome to Branching Out. This, uh, I'm off for a few days now through the Easter weekend and I'm gonna try and get a lot done. So today, there's the pile of uh, brush I've been cleaning up and uh, cleaning up for the rose hip maze. And then this is the left side of the property where the other fence is going and my niece there, she's gonna give me a hand which she's been helping me out a lot lately. Thanks, Karen. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out these thorn trees because where you see the straw, is where I have those maple trees that I did in that last video and I'll leave that at the end so you guys can take a look at that video but yeah we're gonna take these out real quick and then we'll probably just call it a day it's getting close to uh, three o'clock and then I think it's gonna be movie time and a few snacks well it's quite windy today but it's not cold per se so it's a little chilly but uh, I got some wildflower seeds I really wanted to get in and, and spread out around the property so I'm gonna go do that and the only thing I'm gonna use is this hoe and uh, probably the rake for some cleaning up but mostly just the hoe and I think I'm gonna have my trusty knife with me and then uh, we're gonna spread these out so that's another thing I'm gonna be getting done this week So what I did was, is I got some two inch troughs here all along the uh, fence line up near the front of the aisle six here, which is the right side of my property past the bridge. And I'm just gonna sprinkle some uh, wildflower seeds in there covered up and I'm done here. I'll clean up the rest of this later on another time when it's less windy. So here's the other spot. I'm gonna throw some wildflowers up and around the fence line on the right side here. Over by these are butternut, uh, trees those little white cones hopefully they'll come back this year they didn't do so good last year but yeah I'm gonna throw a couple in here and then I'll show you what I'm doing down at the pond there so I have a fully stocked pond I just saw goldfish up in my my big pond and I don't know how I got there because it should only be in the small pond but there's a big fish well they're not big it's big minnows but you see them taking off eh there we go, look at them. There we go. There's one goldfish right there. You can see it right in the center of the screen. And a bunch of minnows. So down here by, I think what we, we're gonna call it, well, I think we're gonna call this the lookout for now, but at the lookout right here, down to the creek, I'm gonna spread the rest of the uh, wildflower seeds that I have up in and around everywhere and hope they uh, hope they come up just like that we're trying to make this a little more pretty for uh, just a little venture spot you know all right so I'm in the midst of making some raised beds but these ones are just going to be the couple of small ones for my peppermint spearmint and uh, peppermint spearmint and mint so we'll get them in there and we're gonna do these up and right now I have to get a part for my mill to do the bigger raised beds that I had prepped in an earlier video but we'll get to that in a bit right now my brother's just burning up a lot of the scrub that I had all the branches and the stuff like that so we're cleaning out this this side over here because uh, we'll be bringing in a lot more maple trees very soon okay so we're making some uh, raised beds you can see we've already cut one over here. It's got to the five inch mark. So we're gonna make just a straight log type uh, raised bed. Uh, I got the saw up and running. My brother's giving me a hand today. And we're going to uh, get a bunch of these beds made out as much as we can for today. But this is how you do it. Clamp down your logs, make sure they're tight. Take your measurement. Make sure your measurements are lined up with your meter. And then whatever you do, and this is the biggest thing, do not hit your metal guards. And that's why it's important to measure. So let's get started, let's get this, we'll rip these out and then we'll get down there and start building them up. Ok, 
Okay, so we're down here, down where we're gonna put the raised beds. We got a bunch of these logs already kind of cut and I have a bunch more up there that'll come down. Uh, we're gonna make it eight foot by uh, inside three feet. So eight foot outside, uh, three feet inside. And we're just gonna cut them in logs and we're gonna stack them up and use a few braces and a few other things. So we're just gonna mash it together and uh, we'll show a little more video as we're putting it together so you can see how I do it. As you can see, I've just kind of lapped them a little bit like the log cabin, but I did not notch them. And it's probably a better idea if I did, but it's gonna take a long time and a lot of work. I left this first lock out because this is the high side of the ground. So I'm not worried about dirt uh, disappearing from that side, but I did do it on the other side to prevent it from coming out the other side. So we're gonna go up another two layers and Trevor's just grabbing some logs for me right now. And then I may have to get more hardware to finish it off because there's a lot more cutting and a lot more boxes to make. Now I use these little brick straps here just to kind of keep them together. As you can see, kind of ideal. Use what you got. Okay, so we're done the first one. Let's get on to the second one. That's what she looks like. I'm hoping to get about, I don't know. I'd like to have about eight of these, but nice thick logs, all cut on my sawmill. Okay, so my brother giving me a hand and we finished off this second one here. And uh, it's a little late in the day, we're gonna have some Easter dinner. And uh, this is what I got left over, a couple of fours, uh, a few more fives. Uh, these are all five inch and they're four layers, so 20 inches high. And then all I gotta do is, uh, stuff them in with something like some brush. I'll grab some brush and stick it down in the bottom and uh, use some of that dirt there and put it in and then I'll put some topsoil on top of it. But I'm gonna get some cardboard as well. All right, there it is. And in case you haven't noticed, I placed those mint, spearmint, and peppermint uh, raised beds right there. Basically, that's just like a a barrier to help prevent it from spreading as much as it can. But uh, yeah, I got them down here by the swale. Down by the garden here. The flowers coming up. Birds are chirping. Frogs are peeping. 